talking to myself, okay? Absolutely amazing. Hi guys! So today I'm back with another empties video and this one I do think is going to be probably the biggest I've done. It is the last one I'm doing before I go to America. I'm going to try not to speak too much about each product or else this video will end up being like the longest thing ever. I will also say if I would repurchase or not. First product is the Shiseido Maquillage Long Stay Eyeliner in a brown. This one was just kind of your basic creamy eyeliner. It went on really really easily but because of that you tend to use a lot of product even in one application and I went through this quite quickly even though I don't wear pencil or brown pencil eyeliner like ever. It was long lasting like if you put it on straight away and smudged it it would smudge but after you had it on it was long lasting and it didn't budge and stuff so that was good I probably wouldn't repurchase it just because I don't use this kind of product in general and it was kind of just average but if you do like long lasting kind of cream pencils I do think you will like this I just personally don't use products like this very much so I won't buy it again next is not completely done but it's pretty much on its last legs it is the models prefer brow liner I think it's called in the shade medium it is a eyebrow pencil and I absolutely love it. The reason why I like it so much is because it's actually like a powder formula. Not like your normal pencils, but it's really, really powdery. So it's basically like a brow powder in pencil form, which is like the best thing ever because it's super, super handy. You can put it on straight away. It goes on really, really easily. And it's also really easy to blend out. So you can apply it and also blend it out with a brush. This color is definitely a little bit dark for me to use all over, but I do use it underneath and on the end obviously I've used it a lot even though I don't even use it all over my brows yes I probably would purchase this again just because I love the formula next is the NYX matte shadow in lap dance I did purchase this only because I couldn't buy the Chi Chi one just a basic nude shade in a matte and I do use this all over my lid as a base I probably wouldn't buy it again the only reason why I bought it was because I couldn't get the Chi Chi one and it's not as good mainly because it's not very pigmented so I have to really really dig my brush in there to get even like a decent amount of color whereas the Chi Chi one like I literally just wipe my finger across it really lightly and I'll get enough pigmentation so I obviously went through this quick because it just wasn't very pigmented as a cheap alternative I guess it's all right but I'll definitely Definitely pay a little bit extra to get the Chi Chi one. I wouldn't buy this again. <laughs> Next is the Orb Couture Designing Perfect Chi. I haven't fully finished it. I've got a tiny bit left. I've been trying to use it up the last few weeks. I definitely will chuck it out because this is pretty much shit. Um, I was really intrigued by it because I saw the ad for it and it looks really cool. You don't need a brush or anything and it's actually like a cushion on the top and the blush comes through it and you can just pop it on your cheeks for the color to come out. So I thought it was really good for travels. But on the ads they make it seem so easy. It actually comes with this little circular plastic thing around it which literally just a plastic circle and you're supposed to put that on your cheek as a guide and then go boom boom. That's what the ad suggests. They're just like and that's all they do. But nothing comes out of this. Like I have to do about 20 taps and I also have to tilt my head so the product like falls onto my face. I'm like sitting there like this for the longest time like it's just not what's the word just not good at all <laughs> not worth it so much effort when the ad suggests that you only need two taps to get a nice lateral color definitely wouldn't purchase again i actually received this as a gift and when i got it i was super excited because i was like oh my god i saw the ad i really want to try it it looked really cool and then as soon as i tried it i was like nah it's adorable but i definitely would not repurchase it. Next is the Maybelline Baby Skin which we all know is super super popular by a lot of people but I don't know if I got a faulty product or something but as you can tell I had to cut it up because after a few uses this end got clogged. It just wouldn't come out like I had to press so so hard and no product would come out whatsoever so I ended up having to cut it and like dig it out. Meh like I don't know it wasn't that good I don't find it covered my pores or made my skin really really flawless and it's just the fact that I couldn't even squeeze out of the tube was a massive hassle. If it was faulty I would probably want to try it again but if that's what it's like then I wouldn't buy it again. Next is the Bare Minerals Prime Time which is a sample size. I got this when I bought something at Mecca. Meh. <laughs> Tried it for a few weeks. It's almost empty. It's not completely empty but I have been using it for the last few weeks. I don't really find it does anything. I don't think it masks my pores or makes my skin flawless again and I feel like it's a little greasy. Yeah it might make my foundation last longer but I've tried primers before that 
definitely preps my skin a little better and makes it look a little bit better than this did. So I wouldn't purchase this. Next is three mascaras and they are all from different brands. First is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless Mascara which has the Grow Lash Complex and Fibers in it. When I first started using this I was like oh yeah it's alright it lengthens blah 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 but after a few uses I was just like nah this is just crap. <laughs> first of all I could not tell the fibers in it. I could not see it at all. It just seemed like a normal formula. Second, it did clump a lot. Like when you tried to coat more than one layer on, it just seemed to kind of like make the lash thick and bumpy and kind of attach together. And it was just gross and it didn't help define them and stuff. The brush is all right, but the formula definitely isn't something that I really like. Rimmel's mascaras in general, I feel they are really clumpy and kind of drying. So I definitely wouldn't repurchase this again. Didn't like it. Next is another one that I really didn't like. And I can barely even say that because I barely got even one use out of it, it is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Mascara and I'm guessing it's because it's organic and it's 100% natural origins which is awesome but it just is so so dry. My mum used it I think two or three times and she's like oh it comes off really easily it's not the mascara for me because she always needs like super super waterproof mascaras and this definitely isn't waterproof. I tried to use it and it was just like what is this like what <laughs> like it was so dry I could not even get a single coat onto my lashes it was just crumbly the brush looks all right and it's like a rubber brush which is what I prefer but it's just super dried out it was brand new my mom had just opened it only used a few times and I couldn't even get a single use out of it so it was really a waste of money and I definitely would not purchase it again and last mascara is the Maybelline Lashinista which I actually did a full review on and I will leave that video linked below I still did really like it but I feel like because it was so so fibrous like, I used so much of the fibers in the first like week or so that the product emptied really quickly because it's so fibrous and has so much product in at the start and you just like cake on heaps at the start and it's like wow so much fibers so much length whoa but then you realize after a while it's like oh I used so much of it and now there's like nothing left but I did really really like it I liked the brush I liked the formula and everything and I probably would repurchase it again if I can get my hands on it Next is the Dr. Lash Ample Long and Volume Eyelash Essence from Etude House. Definitely not the best one I've used. I've used a few eyelash essences and some of them made a big difference. This definitely wasn't one of them. I would say it probably helped keep my lashes a little bit thicker and healthier. The only other difference I saw was that it kind of curled to the ends of my lashes a little more but it's not like a noticeable enough difference and it didn't like curl all of my lashes. The reason why I'm trying so many different eyelash serums is because the one that really really works for me is discontinued now and I seriously can't find it anywhere. Like they sell it on Amazon but it's consistently sold out so I've been trying to look for something else that works as well so I used this up but I probably wouldn't buy it again because I didn't see a significant difference. You guys have seen this so many times. I think you get the idea that I really like this. I just used up another bottle. If you do want to know a little bit more about it, I will link the video below of my top 10 holy grail beauty products because this is in it. Next is the La Roche Posay Redemic Eye Eye Cream. I think this is like the intense one for anti-aging which I obviously don't need but I bought it on sale and I wanted to try it out. And this is one that you're only supposed to use in the morning because I think it has retinol in it. I do really like the texture of it. It's like a semi-translucent gel cream and it was really nice it spread really really easily the only thing is i didn't see a massive difference i don't really have wrinkles yet so i don't really know if it works for wrinkles or not and for dark circles it definitely didn't work at all i tried it out it was all right but for the price no i wouldn't repurchase it next is the it's skin vc effector serum in my last empties i showed the po effector which was the other serum from this range that i purchased when I was in Japan. This one's the vitamin C formula and it smelled nice, it spread really really easily. It was a little bit more waterier than the previous serum so it was much easier to spread and absorb into the skin. But I didn't see a massive difference in brightening or anything. I do think it's probably better for people who actually have dark spots or pigmentation and that. I kind of use it in a sense of prevention but with any products that you use for prevention you really can't tell the results because you're preventing whatever's going to happen. So if you don't have it already, you can't really see the result and that was exactly what it was like. Probably wouldn't repurchase it just because it's not something of a big concern for me at the moment, but I did kind of want to try it out. Tried it out and it was kind of average, so I wouldn't repurchase it again. It might be something worth trying again if I do get some sports and pigmentation in the future. Next is something that I haven't quite finished yet. It is the Etude House Happy Fresh 
Foam White Clay Foaming Cleanser, which is the foaming cleanser that I've been using for the last few months. I actually really, really like this. First of all, this is one of the ones that's not as rich as others. I think there's five different types in the Happy Fresh Foam range, and this one's more for people with oily combination skin. It was really nice. It is kind of like a thick, whitish grey formula. You need such a little product for it to foam up a lot, and it gives a really, really dense foam. The only thing I didn't like was that it smells a bit like baby powder, and I know, like, not everyone doesn't like that smell but I just don't personally like the smell of baby powder and that's what it smells like but even after that I still love it and it does leave my skin feeling really really freshly cleaned and kind of like squeaky clean without a drying or feeling tight or anything so I probably would definitely reach purchase this again next is another foaming cleanser that I got while I was in Japan and is the Softimo Nat to Savon washing foam which I did mention in my Japanese skincare haul video. This is what the bottle looks like. I bought a fresh bottle of it and then also a refill. I haven't used both, like this one's still full and it is one of those self foaming ones. I don't know why I had so much faith in this product because I obviously did since I bought two of them but I don't like it. It is a self foaming cleanser so the foam isn't going to be that dense in general. But it's really, really, really not dense. Like, I've used the Biore self-foaming before, and it's like a decent kind of bouncy foam. But this is just, like, nothing. And it dissolves so quickly. I'll put it on my face, and while I'm, like, washing it, it just starts to dissolve. And I put water on it once, and it's just, like, like, it's gone. It's just, like, bubbles full of air. I know bubbles are full of air in general, but it's just so airy. It's not dense at all. I feel it's kind of a waste. It just dissolves and diminishes while you're using it, which I feel like is kind of pointless. I definitely wouldn't repurchase it again. I am still using it just as a quick cleanser in the morning, but I definitely don't think it'll give a deep enough cleanse to use at night. For a self foaming foam, you can get something a bit more decent than this. Next is a toner from Etude House, which was the White Moistful Water Mist. I bought this while I was in Korea and it was pretty good it was kind of a milky formula and it just was your average spray bottle my mum used it for a little while and she felt like it itched a little bit so I continued to use it and used it up I would say it's a little bit on the rich side for me I like my toners to just absorb and hydrate my skin but this one did feel a little bit sticky after I put it on and I don't really like that feeling out of my toners I wouldn't buy it again but for someone who has dry skin and also is kind of concerned about their skin being dull and want it to brighten up a little bit I would say this is a good option but personally for me I would not buy it again. Next is the Nature Republic Fresh Steam Cream which I have also mentioned in my top 10 Holy Girl Beauty product that is linked below so just check that out if you want to know more about it but it's just my favorite moisturizer. I would definitely repurchase this again and I have like five times now. Next is the Hadanomi Aqua Placenta Cream. This is a moisturizer from Japan and tried it so many times but I just could not like it. I originally tried it quite a while back and then just felt nah. So then I stopped using it and then I tried to use it again but again the same result. I did not like it. It's kind of like a gel-ish texture but it's really really masking like it doesn't feel like it absorbs into my skin. It's really thick, it's really sticky and it just does not feel nice on the skin whatsoever and it doesn't make it soft, it doesn't make it feel moisturized or anything and I tried but I just could not bring myself to keep using it on my face so I did end up using it all but on my body and still even on my body I didn't like it so I definitely would not purchase this again. I seriously want wonder if anyone has ever found this good. <laughs> Next is another moisturizer that I bought in Korea and it is the anti-wrinkle and whitening aqua therapy mermaid cream. Super excited when I bought this. It was actually a clear gel so it was completely clear and it was a moisturizer and when I shut on my hand it absorbed really well and it spread out and I was like oh this feels really nice and I was always looking for that kind of lightweight moisturizer because I can't use rich cream so I bought it and I used it a few times but it's kind of the same as this but not as rich and not as masking and it's just sticky it's just it feels gross on the skin. It does say oil free, which I wouldn't expect it to have oil in it anyway. It just felt really gross and sticky on my skin. It didn't feel like it was absorbing at all. I spread it on my face and like... That's what it felt like. It looked sticky on my face and I just did not like it. The packaging and stuff was so cute so I was so excited but again this was another one that I ended up using on my body. And it was really slimy, that's the thing. Like 
I would put it on and it'll be sticky and then it'll finally dry up but then when I went to wash my face or body or whatever after I'd apply this it gets really slimy you can tell it's not absorbed into your skin because it's just probably just sitting there on your skin and then as soon as you wet your skin again it gets really slimy and goes back to like its original form it was just weird <laughs> next is two very famous face masks from skin food one is the black sugar mask wash off and one is the rice mask wash off i originally just got the black sugar mask when i was in japan and i was super excited because it's raved on about crazy in a lot of asian countries it is really good i really did like it it's a nice slightly abrasive mask so it's kind of like a scrub and you massage it onto your face first and then you leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and then you wash it off it does help kind of buff your skin so it buffs your skin makes it feel really really smooth and it just helps remove some of the dead skin cells and all that i don't think it's something that actually changes your skin in general i do think it's something kind of temporary so it does make your skin feel really nice afterwards and maybe for that day but i don't think it's something that will change the way your skin is i really do like it as like a once or twice a week scrub plus mask and i would probably repurchase it again because i did like the feeling of it and it's kind of a good alternative to just using a scrub and then the other one is the rice mask one which i haven't completely finished it's still quite a bit in there but my mum has been using this as well as i have this one i would definitely say is something better for people with dry skin it's way more moisturizing after you wash it off you can feel that it's really moisturized your skin and it also helps brighten your skin as well like one or two tones lighter and it's really really gentle it's definitely not abrasive like the black sugar one even though it says on here concentrate around nose area and repeat it using grains there is basically no grains in here i know what they're talking about but it's so fine that it's not granularly at all it's not really something that would scrub your face i was talking to my mom and she's like oh i saw the black sugar one's really good as well do you reckon i should try it but I honestly think this one was better for me because I have younger skin and kind of combination oily skin and then this one's better for my mom because it's more moisturizing and it helps brighten up your skin tone. Older people usually have more pigmentation and dark spots and stuff. Both really good. I would definitely repurchase this one. This one maybe not quite but my mum really liked it and she's thinking about applying it again so if you do have skin that's a little bit dry i would recommend trying this one out all right last skincare product it is the biore makeup removing wipes and it's just the one that's sold in australia i did get this free with something from work with any biore purchase you got one of these for free tried it out and you just have 10 wipes sample size of the regular ones they are definitely moisturizing it's kind of an exfoliating cloth so it's not plain it's kind of got bumps on it but it's super super soft it says it's ophthalmologically tested hypoallergenic dermatologically tested doesn't clog your pores alcohol free and it's made from 100 percent renewable sources i don't generally use makeup wipes all over my face i just use them around my face and on my neck but with this one, there was one time that I had used it uh, around my eyes to get some really strong eye makeup off and it stung like crazy. It really, really hurt my eyes. I had to wash it out straight away and it does say it's been tested ophthalmologically, but I felt like it was really rough in the eyes and I know a lot of people do remove all of their makeup with wipes. So I wouldn't recommend it to you if you do use it around your eyes and stuff. Like I had my eyes closed and everything and they hurt so much. It just like seeped into my eyes and it just stung them like crazy no i wouldn't repurchase it again because it's good but i can find cheaper wipes for the same quality and that they don't sting my eye as bad next is another la roche posay product and it's actually part of their sun care range and it is just their regular easy spray application sunscreen i bought this when it was on sale and this was before i went to japan so i was kind of run out of all my high spf products so i bought it for my body i do really like the fact that it is 50 plus spf which is finally in australia which is really hard to believe and that it's got uv and uvb and everything like that but it is really really thick and it's really really white and it's really really annoying to apply like the spray first of all doesn't get the product out well because the product is pretty thick and then I'll be spraying it and the spray will go everywhere like on my clothes and stuff and it's such an opaque white that it stained my clothes now nah, this was kind of like an alternative because I didn't have any of those products but I definitely wouldn't buy it again and it was such a hassle next is my one and only hair care product which is pretty rare I usually go through more masks anyway it is the L'Oreal Alvive total repair hair mask I did really like this it was one of the more richer ones I've tried and I definitely definitely need the more richer hair masks you did feel leave it feeling really really silky 
smooth and I could tell that it moisturized it a decent amount so it would be something that I would repurchase again if it's a good price it's very rich and you do get quite a decent amount of product because the container is pretty big all right that is all the products I'm sorry if I talked really really quickly or if I was quite brief with some of the products but I really do ramble way too much usually and I'm rambling right now so let's just stop I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up up and let me know which product interested you the most or which product you now kind of want to try well i'll see you guys in my next video bye